In ENT, let's look at some nose instruments, guys. So basically, here you have the Thudicum's nasal speculum, this one. How do you hold it? Put it on your left hand's index finger and then uh, the middle finger goes outside, right? And the uh, ring finger is coming inside and these two are going to press so that you can make it small and big. So how will, what will you do with it? You will do anterior rhinoscopy. So basically, one thing you should note here is when you are inserting it, you have fully closed it. And when you are uh, removing it from the patient, you are going to partially open it. You will keep it partially open and remove it, right? Can you fully open and remove it? No, it will not come out. So why will you not fully close it while removing out? Because hair could have got stuck, okay? So that is why they will partially open it while removing, okay? In anterior rhinoscopy, what and all you will check, guys? You will check the nasal passage, the septum, the floor of the nose, the roof. You will check the lateral wall, whatever possible you will check. Roof, wall, floor, okay? Then coming to Freer's double end elevator, double end you can elevate, where will you elevate, what will you elevate in uh, uh, any septal surgery, you will elevate the mucopericondrium, periosteum, all this you can elevate, right, double end it is, you can elevate. Heyman's turbinectary scissors, take it to cut your scissors, turbin, turbin, turbines, turbines, turbinates, okay, Heyman, 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 don't forget, then looks forceps, this looks so much like your, um, what is the other one? So basically, this will be a little smaller than your tonsil holding forceps, the Dennis Brown forceps, okay? So this is what looks forceps. What will you use it for? Cadwell look operation, very good. To remove mucosa, submucosal resection obstruction also you can use to remove the bone and cartilage. Polypectomy you can use to grasp and avulse the polyps. To take biopsy also you can use. So basically, looks forceps, Cadwell look is very easy to remember. And don't confuse it with the Dennis Brown uh, tonsil holding forceps, okay? Then... Hammer and chisel, hammer also called as mallet. So, you know, you what will you use this to cut the bone during DCR and any other procedure. Then you have the Killian's nasal gouge, bayonet shaped. Okay, used to remove the septal spurs or bony crests. You can see you want to remove the bone kind of a thing, right? It makes sense. Killian's nasal gouge, bayonet shaped. Kind of hard to remember. What do you see? What are you just seeing? Killian's nasal gorge gorge scary name right yeah you're going to remove the bone so it is a very strong instrument then coming to the, the belling ballinger swivel knife guys so look at this this is the swivel knife see it has uh, it will just turn the blade as it just revolves automatically the blade revolves automatically kind of nice right so it changes direction so whenever you want to cut different part it will only change direction nice right that is which one Ballinger's, Ballinger's swivel knife, okay. So, what will you use it? You will use it to remove the septal cartilage in SMR. So, it will change the direction when cutting the cartilage anterior posteriorly downward, posterior anteriorly and posterior anteriorly, okay. You have different sizes of blades also, guys. So, what did, what are you just looking at? Ballinger swivel knife, very good. Next, Tilly's dressing forceps, very, very common, just take, you know, this for dressing, Tilly's dressing forceps used for nasal packing, ear dressing, uh, removal of foreign body also. It, uh, it has a uh, removal of foreign body also possible from nose. They are saying it has a box joint. So, this is very common. You should know this Tilly's dressing forceps. Kilians, one more Kilians here. Long bladed nasal speculum. See, this has a screw. So, you should remember this is self retained, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? So, it has a screw. So, do not forget this. See? So, like your thudicum nasal speculum, this is your Killian's long bladed nasal speculum. See, it has a screw so it can uh, retain itself, right? So, you can uh, use it in any surgery, right? To just keep the muscope periosteal flaps away, they are saying. So, basically, what is it? Killian's nasal speculum. Very good. What else Killian's do you know? Killian. Do you know any other Killian? Nasal gorge. Okay, that was the one. Only two Killian's are there. Nasal gorge and this one. That is... Uh, Long blade nasal speculum. There's a speculum which is Killian's and you also have the bone gorge. That's it guys. We looked at a few nose instruments. Let's see if you can identify it. Which instrument is this guys? See it is a double side. Uh, it is it is an elevator. Very good. Which elevator? Yes, it is freeze double. Say freeze. Freeze double end elevator. Okay. Go. This is a scissors. Very good. Yeah. So it's a turbinectomy scissors. Says, which is this? Uh, what's the name? It is Heyman. Heyman turbinectomy. Okay, next. Remember, this is something you will hold something. Uh, what is this? It's not to be confused with the tonsil holding forceps. This is Dennis Brown. No, 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 no. This is look. Very good. Looks. So, this is going well inside the nose, right? So, you will use it for Cadwell look search operation, you can see. 
This is a nose instrument. Okay. Very good. Then let's move on. Next. Chisel hammer, nobody will forget. I think so. What is this, guys? Gorge. Okay, you'll... Uh, what what gouge? Yeah, we told you. Killians. Very good. Killians. Nasal gouge. Then swivel knife. Very good. Which swivel knife? Balanger. Very good. And this one. Tilly. Tilly. Yeah. Tilly's nasal dressing forceps. Very good. Then last. It has a screw. And what is it? It's a speculum. Nasal speculum. Which basal speculum? Killians nasal. Long bladed nasal speculum. Very good. That's it, guys. 